Hello, my name is Celia. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I make videos around home decor, plants, travel, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> that. So if you think you would be interested, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below. In today's video, we're trying out something new. I'm hoping that you guys will really, really like it because I'm really excited to share. I am a shopper. I love online shopping. I'm always clicking through pages and pages of things on a website, saving them. I don't know why. I only have one apartment. I can only buy so much, but I have realized that that might not be true for you guys. So I put together just a couple of spaces with a couple of things that you might need and we're gonna talk about them today. So before we get started, I wanna give a disclaimer. Because these are things that I have seen online, I cannot vouch for the quality of anything. Some products I have purchased from the brand before, so I can speak to that. And some of the products I actually have dealt with before, so I can't speak to those. But if you are inspired by any of the dazzling things I'm about to show you, and you choose to spend your money, first, let me know. But second, don't blame me if you end up with the table like our black and white table. Oh my God, Celia! With that being said, let's jump into the first space. So before each space, I wanna share a bit of a mood board so you know what vibe it is that I am trying to convey to you all. The images that you'll see on the mood boards are all just images that I've pulled mainly from Pinterest. So if you see your house, your sister's house, your mom's house, I don't own any of these images. We've just nabbed them from Pinterest. This first space is all about color. I love the colorfully painted walls. And this is something that can be easily achieved and probably fairly inexpensively because paint, we all know, is the easiest and most inexpensive way to update a space. Now, you can use the paint to highlight an architectural feature in the case of these yellow stairs, like how cool are these yellow stairs? Or in this bookshelf that has like this brown painted inside and green painted outside, it just makes that feature that much more in your face. You can also use the paint to disguise a very boring or blank white space. In the case of the door in this image, it like basically disappears because the wall, because the painting on the wall is just so fun and totally distracting from the cutout of the door. The paint also in this bedroom adds some real interest to the wall behind the bed and the wall next to the bed that would otherwise just be blank. This vibe and this first space that I'm starting with is like, I like to call it Celia's Delight. This is like, I want every single piece of furniture that I'm about to show you. <laughs> and I feel like let's just start off with the bang. So bearing in mind those beautifully colored painted walls, let's get into the furniture. So I picked this beautiful jewel toned velvet couch. Now it's actually very similar to the jewel toned velvet couch that I'm currently sitting on, so on brand. I love a luxurious velvet sofa. It's pet friendly, I would imagine also kid friendly because velvet is so easy to clean and pets just aren't as interested or at least cats aren't interested in scratching them. So I kept this couch very simple but like still giving you luxurious, you know, deep cozy vibes in the color. To go under this couch, this rug is the same rug if you watched Evelyn's makeover space, the third space makeover that we did, we used this rug in her Zen room. This rug, because I've actually touched this one, has a very deep pile. It's like super cozy, you wanna sit on it, it's like perfect for a living room or a bedroom really. But it is a beautiful rug that will add some lightness and brightness to the space because we're talking jewel tone paint colors and it will also add in the, a couple of different colors so it'll work with whatever paint colors you choose for the wall. Big fan of this rug and I think it was really affordable because Rugs USA 
it's very affordable. Now, to go with this couch and rug, I picked this chair from Crate and Barrel. We just talked about Crate and Barrel in that haul video and I was like, mm, but then I went looking a little bit deeper and I was like, oh my God, I love this collection that they did with Leanne Ford. I believe that's her name. She also did a collection with Target for lighting. Homegirl has excellent taste. It's not good shot this fireworks because Lord have mercy, the fireworks in New York City this summer. Been crazy. <laughs> but Leanne Ford, this collection that she did with Crate and Barrel is a um, chef kiss like so good this chair is so 2020 it is rattan which although is having a very very trendy moment is really a staple in boho decor and it has this rounded shape and honey rounded curved furniture if you didn't notice is having a moment okay you're all about to just want rounded chairs and you don't you're not gonna know why it's because it's having a moment and this chair is ticking both of those boxes it is so good i want this chair so badly what i would do to this chair though is add black mud cloth to the seat like probably reupholster the seat just like i've done with my own chair because it would add for me just an extra layer of texture and like a little afro boho moment to this chair but this chair is gorgeous and the rattan adds this like natural element because in my opinion every room needs a natural wooden type element and this is achieving that one of my next favorite pieces in this space is this bookshelf Woo, honey now urban outfitters we know from the table fiasco they can have the quality can be dubious i don't know anything about this bookcase except that i love it it has these like cutouts that look as if they were chiseled from stone like it looks like a flintstone bookcase to me for some reason and i love it because i love the organic kind of vibe of it i'm sure it's made out of plastic I, I, whatever but it just has an impeccable look like can you imagine the shelfies that you would get on this shelf the plants some trailing plants some books hello color oh so I love that bookshelf. And then to round out the space, I picked this tulip table also from Urban Outfitters because they really just do quirky decor really well. It's like, it's a tulip table <laughs> and I love it. The dark jewel tones go well with the couch. They will go well with the walls. The colors are mimicked in the rug. I just love this table. It's like that quirky, unexpected moment happening in a space. And then to top it all off, this very classic mid-century modern shaped mushroom lamp in brass because every room needs a little bit of sparkle. And this lamp and mixed with the brass and mirror top coffee table, also from Urban Outfitters, this these two pieces help bring a little bit of glam right like they play off of the luxury luxuriousness of the couch and help to bring a little bit more glam into this space so i honey if she had just one more family room or den or something and some you know an influx of cash then this is a space that i would definitely recreate in my own home Okay, we're on to the next space. Now, this next space, I envision moody interiors because just as much as I love color, I love a dark, moody interior. Ooh! I also see this space as maybe a little industrial. Maybe there's an exposed beam, you know, there's some like plumbing, type accents there's maybe a concrete floor like in my mind in my mind's eye the space just has a little bit of an industrial flair or the person who lives in it just likes an industrial style and injects that into the space with the decor but i envision dark moody walls maybe a light color floor let's go let's get to the furniture so this time let's start with the rug 
This rug, if you watch that same video, this is from Evelyn Space again, this rug is gorgeous. I love the texture and the color because it kind of has this like ombre effect along with the pattern. This rug is so good. And again, from Rugs USA, very affordable. And I love the idea of this dark rug on the concrete floors with the dark walls. Do you guys see it? You see it. Now, on this one, I went with a lighter colored um, couch. The lighter color couch would really, again, pop against those dark walls. And I thought, maybe if you're watching this video, right, not Celia's Delight, because Celia's Delight is like the fantasy room, but you might have a light color couch and you were thinking, I'm sick of whatever is happening in my house. I need more ideas. So this one, I tried to give it a little, it's achievable. It's ideas if you don't want to buy a new couch. You know what I'm saying? So I love the light color couch and it has these very crisp, clean lines, which again speaks to that industrial moment. The pop in this room, which kinda was the catalyst for this whole video, is this accent chair. I stumbled across this accent chair on All Modern and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this chair. This chair has absolutely nothing to do with any space that I currently live in. Also, my cat would tear it to shreds, but it is so good. It is such a quirky, fun pop of a chair. Again, very clean lines, but the rounded edges just gives it just a little bit more, you know, feminine vibe where the couch feels a little bit more masculine. So I love this chair and I love the idea of this bright turquoise popping against a black wall or a dark char dark charcoal wall. On top of this rug, ugh, so good. So like I said, I think every room definitely needs an element of wood, like a natural element. And because that couch and the chair really do have very clean lines, we're going with a round wooden coffee table. I also think this coffee table looks very luxurious. If I remember correctly, the price on it was actually not that bad. Oh. And as you know, all of this is gonna be linked in the description below. This coffee table looks amazing. And, and I love the idea of, again, a space that has this kind of industrial vibe and then you put in this like warm, chocolatey coffee table. As a side table here, I'm going with just black, again, with rounded curves, you know, to add in, again, some more to play off of that um, the straight edges of the masculine couch and the more masculine chair even though it has the round edges but this is like adding in those curves because in an industrial space you end up with a lot of hard edges and a lot of hard surfaces then this floor lamp y'all this floor lamp is from ikea can you believe that look how cute this is i love the polished chrome personally i'm not a I'm not a chrome girl, I prefer brass, but I am loving the look of this lamp. I want them to offer it in black and brass, but I do like the polished chrome. Imagine it again in this industrial space. It is playing with the angular lines with the straight up and down of the poles and the like roundness of the globes. And then to round off this space, I am adding this bookshelf. Imagine the shelfy possibilities on this bookshelf. It's the wood, warm wood tones that will match back to that coffee table and the metal pipe legs speak to the industrial vibe of this space. Imagine it layered with some tribal fans, a mask or two, a couple plants, some nice black coffee table books or nice white coffee table books or a rainbow Ooh, or like a muted rainbow or like the books with the other with the um, with the spines in so you, that you see the pages so it looks all taupey with just like some plants. Ah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. So I love this bookshelf um, in this space. I would like have one living room that was plant filled and color filled and cozy and then another that was like, where did those exposed beams and this industrial flair come from? This is, this is the house that I live in. So I love this one. And now we have arrived at our last and final room. This is like classic mid-century modern boho vibes. It's a lot of interiors that you've seen on Pinterest, on YouTube. It's like if you want a white walled, wooden, rattan, like a space that has a lot of versatility, but just 
isn't about dramatic walls, you know? It's very neutral in tone. It can be, add, colors can be added in certainly in decor and art. Um, as I sit in front of a white wall, it might sound like I'm shading it and you're like, girl, but your wall is white. It's not my personal vibe, but I do understand why people love it. And it has, there are lots of good examples of it out there. And I'm really excited about the one that I created because it still has a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Cilia in there. Starting with this room, let's start with the rug again. This is another Rugs USA rug because I really, no matter what design style you're looking for, Rugs USA probably has a rug for you. I actually really like this rug <laughs> and I think there is a friend who asked me about um, suggestions for her space and I think I'm actually suggesting to her this exact rug because I think it's actually really nice. But it is that classic mid-century modern boho neutral vibes type of rug it has a kind of moroccan vibe to it and i my experiences with with rugs usa is that their rugs are pretty good quality so i can say that i feel pretty good about this rug in this room again i chose a gray couch because i think that this style is so popular we see it so much on youtube and pinterest because it really speaks to people so i wanted to present something to you that if this was something that you liked you would be you know you might find some inspiration in what we're talking about so this is a very classic um it's actually a gray tweed couch it's actually the exact couch that i'm sitting on just in a different fabrication west elm if you are willing to put your money and invest in a west elm couch total quality honey and they have tons of fabric options now the fun part just like the other two is an accent chair i love a fun accent chair and just like the blue one in our industrial space i saw this terrazzo printed chair and i was like oh. i saw this chair and i was like i love this chair someone needs to know that this chair exists because they need this chair they have a gray couch and they're like what they're, they're out there what can i do with my gray couch you can get this chair it's from world market it's so cute i love it it's again trendy with the terrazzo print it has the gray tones in it from that will match your gray couch a little bit of pink a little bit of teal colors that will still work within a neutral palette but will add just a little bit of something extra it also is again like i told you that curved shape this curved shape on furniture is going to be major in home decor with this one for that bigger piece i went with this entertainment center if you have just plain white walls this is a great way to add just a little bit of interest to the television that we all know ends up on the wall and looks like this big black box but this bringing this wall wood wall accent into the space enhances that mid-century modern neutrally vibe also has a little bit of storage with the drawer and i just like that it made the tv that we, we it has to be there it just made it a bit more of a statement and it satisfies that need for some natural wood in the space so the coffee table i kept pretty neutral here this is just a basic rectangular black coffee table grounds the space is the perfect base for a rattan type of tray that you then put your candles and your string of beads around you know what i'm saying a little plant like it's a basic a uh, plain basic slate but will work to ground the space on this white rug with our gray couch and our fun chair this is a moment of grounding with this coffee table the second most exciting thing in this space to me is this lamp Woo, honey i saw someone on instagram buy a similar version of this lamp or it was exactly this lamp i can't remember you guys might follow the same people you let me know in the comments below but this lamp is so fun it like it's a floor lamp and it's just a glow floor lamp but like this curved vibe that kind of like the fireworks what are what are do you have fire, are, are fireworks happening where you are please let me know because <laughs> the fireworks child oh but it has this like curved hook where the the globe is kind of hanging off of this hook and it just it's just such a cool lamp the brand that makes this is very popular amongst the interior design crowd right now i'm like 
loving all of the light fixtures that I see from this brand. It's called Mitzi. Girl, this lamp, it really just, again, adds a little bit of something to a space that is otherwise just very plain and neutral. You can have pops in the items and still read overall as a neutral space. And then to round it all out with a little bit of bling because the lamp does have some brass accents, I chose this brass side table that has a mirror top. I used to have a real thing for just mirrored furniture, but child, that's so impractical. Fingerprints, no. But a mirrored top is a good way to still add that kind of like, it's a very glam element, right? Mirrored furniture to a space. So this just adds like a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of bling to this like, again, very neutral and clean space. So not really what I would choose for me, but I understand why it's why it's very popular. And I actually really like the way that I put this one together. All right, so we've made it through those three rooms. Now let's talk about accessorizing the rooms just a little bit. I love plants. If you're new to this channel, let me let you know I love plants. If you've been here before, you already know. So please envision all of these spaces layered with monsteras and birds of paradise and trailing pothos. Like imagine plants. Art, again, if you've been here before, you know that I love art. I think art is an excellent way to personalize a space. Whether you decide to keep the art all black and white in your industrial space, whether you choose to add color in your colorful space, whether you choose to use no art, big art, gallery walls, um, non-traditional art elements uh, on a wall, like go ham with art. I did wanna mention some throw pillows because there are ways to add interest to a space with throw pillows and actually you would be surprised that a lot of patterns can kind of be considered neutrals not neutrals but neutrals i have two sets of pillows that i want to talk about this first set has a mud cloth pillow the second pillow is a round ball sherpa pillow and then the last pillow is a lumbar pillow because you do want to add variety in the shapes and sizes of your throw pillows that you're going to use in your living room so if we go back to our first room with this set of three pillows it's like it's a no-brainer this works the colors work because of the colors in the uh, rug because of the colors on the wall we can't go wrong when we're talking about colors now if we go to our industrial space you will see <laughs> they all still work and imagine all of this nice texture in a space full of industrial finishes and full of concrete and metal and steel and then if we come to that last space even though this is a more neutral space say this was your space and you decided hey i actually want to inject a little bit of color again this is a perfect way to do it and now finally the second set of pillows this is a kind of mustard kind of half moon vibes with a couple of different colors a very classic um, Mongolian lamb's wool pillow but in the lumbar shape and then everyone's favorite leopard print and you might be like girl that leopard print don't go yes it does let me show you if we jump back again to our first room I don't got to tell you it works and look actually how good the leopard print would look in this space like leopard print just like mud cloth is a neutral if we jump to that industrial space again the mongolian lambs will add this like amazing soft texture in this space that we are envisioning has a lot of hard finishes if we come to that last room again because this room is so neutral and um plain these colors absolutely go the colored pillow again kind of plays off of those colors in our terrazzo chair i wouldn't put that pillow in that chair i'd put it on the couch and i'd maybe put the mongolian um lumbar pillow in that chair but or ooh for a little bit of pattern mixing, put the leopard print in a terrazzo chair. Girl, ooh, that sounds cute. All of these pillows, again, this grouping of pillows works in all three of these spaces. Do not underestimate the power of a throw pillow. Okay, I feel like I have been talking long and hard for like an hour. <laughs> Once we edit it down, it won't be that long, but y'all just don't know. We just... Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it and would like to maybe see this again, 
with done with like a bedroom or a dining room or a bathroom please let me know i had a really good time doing this video sean worked really hard on the graphics that you saw in this video so give sean some love down in the comments below he is not a graphic designer but he pulled he came through with these graphics so thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to follow me on instagram for more behind the scenes of what we're doing around here hit that subscribe button if you want to see more hit the bell notification all that jazz thank you for watching again i'll see you in the next one bye